The universe we know is an infinite tapestry of mysteries, but none is as mind-bending or as deeply profound as the question of its beginning. Imagine, for a moment, the night sky, a vast ocean of stars, galaxies, and endless darkness stretching far beyond what the human mind can comprehend. Now strip it all away. Every star, every atom, every flicker of energy. What remains? A void so absolute it challenges the very fabric of thought itself. But here's the paradox. Could such a state of nothingness ever truly exist? And if it could, how on earth did something emerge from it? Picture this. Billions of years ago, before time itself began ticking, there was no light, no sound, no matter. Not even darkness. Because darkness implies the absence of light, and for that, you'd need light to exist in the first place. Scientists call this the pre-Big Bang state, but giving it a name feels wrong. Names are for things, for concepts, for something. This was nothing. Or was it? This isn't just a question for astrophysicists. It's a puzzle that has haunted humanity for millennia. Ancient myths tell us of gods conjuring worlds out of chaos or of creation springing from cosmic eggs. But even the gods, if they existed, had to come from somewhere. It's a thought experiment that spirals endlessly. What was there before everything? And what was before that? Now, imagine yourself standing on the edge of this unknowable void, if it could even be called an edge. There's no air, no space to stand in. It's the ultimate paradox, where every rule of reality collapses under its own weight. In this void, something extraordinary happens. A spark. Not a spark in the sense of fire or heat, but a spark of potential. From nowhere and for reasons no one may ever truly understand, this infinitesimal point, smaller than the smallest particle you could ever imagine, comes into existence. And in the next moment, it unleashes a force so incomprehensibly vast that it gives birth to time itself. Here's where the story takes a turn that will leave your mind spinning. Because if everything began with this singular spark, we must ask ourselves, where did it come from? Quantum physicists might tell you about vacuum fluctuations, where empty space is anything but empty. They'll describe particles popping in and out of existence as though the void is a seething cauldron of possibilities. But even these particles, fleeting as they are, require a framework in which to appear, a stage on which to dance their ephemeral dance. But the question isn't just scientific, it's deeply personal. If the universe came from nothing, what does that say about you? About us? Are we a cosmic accident? A chance ripple in an ocean of randomness? Or is there a purpose behind this unimaginable event? One so grand and intricate that it lies forever beyond our grasp? The implications are staggering. Here's a thought to keep you awake at night. What if the universe didn't come from nothing, but instead from a kind of negative infinity? Imagine a state where nothing is not truly empty but is instead the perfect balance of opposites. Matter and antimatter, energy and its mirror twin, canceling each other out so perfectly that the sum total is zero. This might sound like an elegant solution, but it raises an even darker question. What if the universe is not something at all? What if it's simply a grand illusion, a zero-sum game played out on a cosmic scale? And yet, as abstract and ungraspable as these ideas are, they are also profoundly real. Look around you. Every breath you take, every thought that flashes through your mind, every star that twinkles in the night sky, all of it traces back to that singular moment of creation. If the universe was indeed born from nothing, then so were you. Everything you see, touch, and experience is the product of a cosmic magic trick so profound that even the greatest minds in history can barely begin to explain it. But here's the twist, the hook that will keep you glued to your seat. What if nothingness isn't finished with us? If the universe could emerge from nothing, what's to stop it from returning to nothing? Could the fabric of reality itself one day unravel, collapsing back into the void from which it came? Or worse, could nothingness already be creeping in, slowly dissolving the very foundation of existence without us even realizing it? These questions aren't just theoretical. They're the stuff of existential dread and wonder. And as we delve deeper into the mystery of how something came from nothing, we might find ourselves staring into the abyss, only to realize that the abyss is staring back, and that it holds secrets we are both terrified and desperate to uncover. 
The question of whether the universe was born from nothing is not just a scientific enigma. It's a doorway into realms of thought that blur the boundaries between physics, philosophy, and the very nature of existence. To approach this mystery, one must be willing to journey into territories where logic bends, where intuition falters, and where reality itself becomes an open-ended question. What does it mean to say nothing? And if the universe emerged from this so-called nothing, how can we even begin to comprehend it? To explore these questions, imagine yourself in a realm where the rules of physics, those dependable laws we take for granted cease to exist. No gravity to anchor you. No time to guide the sequence of events. No dimensions to give you space to move. This is the hypothetical nothing that scientists and philosophers grapple with, a state so alien to our experience that even labeling it feels like a contradiction. For how can nothing even be conceptualized if it lacks existence altogether? In the realm of physics, the concept of nothing has undergone a dramatic evolution. Once, it was thought of as a complete absence, a void, barren, and featureless. But as our understanding of the cosmos has deepened, we've discovered that what we once considered nothing might actually teem with potential. Take the quantum vacuum, for example. To the untrained eye, it appears empty, devoid of matter and energy. But on closer inspection, it's a seething froth of activity, where particles and antiparticles blink into and out of existence in a chaotic dance that defies intuition. These fleeting apparitions, though minuscule and ephemeral, suggest that the vacuum is far from empty. Instead, it's a fertile ground of possibilities, a cosmic stage where the seeds of creation might be sown. And yet, the quantum vacuum raises as many questions as it answers. If particles can spontaneously appear, seemingly from nowhere, what governs their emergence? Are these particles truly arising from nothing, or are they manifestations of deeper, hidden structures that we have yet to uncover? The mathematics of quantum mechanics offers tantalizing hints but stops short of providing definitive answers. Instead, it presents us with probabilities, equations that describe the likelihood of events without ever fully explaining their origins. As we dive deeper, we encounter another layer of mystery, the concept of symmetry. In physics, symmetry is a kind of balance, a harmony that underpins the laws of nature. The universe, as we observe it, is full of broken symmetries, imbalances that give rise to matter, forces, and the intricate complexity of existence. But before the universe began, if it can even be said to have a before, there may have been perfect symmetry. A state where every force, every particle, every element of existence was in flawless equilibrium. In such a state, there would be no distinctions, no opposites, no contrasts. And then something happened, a rupture, a break in this primordial symmetry that set the cosmos in motion. Was this symmetry-breaking event an accident, a random fluctuation with no cause or purpose? Or was it driven by some deeper principle, an inherent tendency of reality to evolve from simplicity to complexity? This question lies at the heart of the mystery, and it's one that science alone cannot answer. For even as we trace the origins of the universe back to the first fractions of a second, to the incomprehensibly small and dense state from which it all began, we are confronted with an impenetrable wall of uncertainty. Beyond that wall lies the unknown, a realm where the familiar concepts of cause and effect, time and space, dissolve into ambiguity. Philosophy offers a different lens through which to examine this mystery. The ancient Greeks pondered the nature of existence and the possibility of creation out of nothing. Some argued that nothing cannot exist, for to speak of nothing is to make it something. Others suggested that everything must have a cause, a chain of events stretching back infinitely or culminating in a first cause, an uncaused mover. These ideas have persisted through the centuries, evolving and intertwining with religious and metaphysical thought. But they remain, at their core, a testament to the human desire to understand where we come from and why we are here. Modern philosophers grapple with the same questions but through the lens of contemporary science. They ask whether the universe's existence is a brute fact, something that simply is and requires no explanation, or whether it demands an answer, a reason for its being. Some propose that the universe might be self-contained, a closed system that needs no external cause. 
Others suggest that our universe could be one of many, part of a vast multiverse where every possibility is realized. In such a scenario, the emergence of our universe from nothing might be an illusion, a localized phenomenon within a broader, infinite reality. And yet, the philosophical perspective often circles back to a deeper, more unsettling question. Why is there something rather than nothing? This question transcends science, philosophy, and even religion. It challenges us to confront the limits of human understanding, to grapple with the possibility that the ultimate answer might lie beyond our reach. For if the universe emerged from nothing, then nothingness itself must possess an uncanny ability to generate existence. But what does it mean for nothing to possess anything? And what implications does this have for our understanding of reality? As we ponder these questions, it's impossible to ignore the role of our own minds in shaping the narrative. Human beings are storytellers by nature, weaving meaning from the threads of experience. But in the face of the universe's origins, we are confronted with a story that defies resolution, a puzzle with pieces that may never fit together. The scientific, philosophical, and metaphysical explanations each offer glimpses of the truth, but none provide a complete picture. Instead, they leave us with fragments, tantalizing hints of a reality far stranger and more profound than we can imagine. The mystery of the universe's origins is not just an abstract intellectual exercise. It's a journey into the heart of existence itself. It forces us to question not only how the cosmos came to be, but also what it means to be. And as we delve deeper into this enigma, we are reminded of our own place within the vast, unfolding tapestry of creation. A tapestry woven from the threads of matter, energy, and the ever-elusive void from which it all began. If the universe truly emerged from nothing, a question lingers that seems even more haunting. Could it all disappear just as suddenly? Everything you've ever known, every star, every atom, every thought, could it all simply dissolve back into the void? If something can emerge from nothing, what guarantees that this miraculous balance we call existence is permanent? The idea alone is enough to grip the human imagination with both awe and existential terror. Picture the vastness of the universe as it exists today, expanding ever outward, its galaxies racing away from each other at unimaginable speeds. It's an image of grandeur, a testament to the power of that initial moment of creation. But what if that expansion isn't forever? Scientists have long speculated about the ultimate fate of the cosmos. Will it continue to grow colder and darker as the galaxies drift apart into infinite isolation? Or could it collapse in on itself, reversing the Big Bang in a catastrophic implosion known as the Big Crunch? And what about the unsettling possibility that everything could simply vanish? To even consider this, you have to confront the unsettling fragility of existence. The universe is not as solid or permanent as it appears. At its most fundamental level, reality is governed by forces and interactions that are astonishingly precise, balanced on a knife's edge. These forces, the strength of gravity, the charge of an electron, the properties of space-time itself, are the scaffolding upon which the cosmos is built. But what if that balance could be tipped? The concept of vacuum decay is one such terrifying possibility. In this scenario, the universe as we know it is not in its most stable form. Imagine reality as a vast landscape of hills and valleys, with the universe resting in one of those valleys. It seems stable enough, but what if it's not the lowest valley? What if, somewhere out there, a deeper valley exists, a truer, more fundamental version of reality. If this were the case, a quantum fluctuation could create a bubble of this true vacuum, where the laws of physics as we know them would be fundamentally different. This bubble would expand at the speed of light, obliterating everything in its path without warning. Stars, planets, even the atoms in your body would cease to exist in an instant. It's a chilling thought, not least because it could happen at any time. There would be no sign, no warning. One moment you're here, alive and thinking, and the next, the very framework of reality collapses. But as unsettling as vacuum decay might be, it's just one of many possible ends for the universe. Another scenario is the heat death of the cosmos. This is not a violent end but a slow, drawn-out fading into nothingness. Over trillions of years, stars will burn through their fuel and die, leaving behind cold remnants like white dwarfs and black holes. 
galaxies will unravel as their stars drift apart. And eventually, even black holes will evaporate through a process called Hawking radiation. What's left is a vast, empty expanse. Cold, dark, and lifeless. It's not just the death of matter, it's the death of potential. No new stars, no new life, no possibility of anything ever happening again. Time itself becomes meaningless in a universe where nothing changes. Yet another possibility looms in the idea of the Big Rip. Unlike the gradual fading of heat death, the Big Rip would be an apocalyptic tearing apart of the universe. If the force driving the universe's expansion, what we call dark energy, were to grow stronger over time, it could eventually overcome all other forces. Galaxies would be torn apart, then solar systems, then planets, and finally, even the atoms themselves would be ripped to shreds. It's a vision of ultimate destruction, where the very fabric of space-time is shredded into oblivion. But what if the end isn't really the end? If the universe was born from nothing once, could it happen again? The idea of a cyclic universe suggests that creation and destruction are part of an infinite loop, a cosmic heartbeat where each end gives rise to a new beginning. The Big Crunch, for instance, might not be the ultimate collapse but the precursor to another Big Bang. Matter and energy could compress into an unimaginably small point, only to explode outward again, giving birth to a new cosmos. If this is true, then perhaps the universe has no beginning or end, just an eternal rhythm of death and rebirth. But this raises its own questions. Is each new universe identical to the last? Or does the cycle allow for infinite variations, each universe slightly different from the one before? Could there be a version of reality where the laws of physics are unrecognizable, where stars never form, or where life as we know it could never exist? There's also the mind-bending possibility of the multiverse. In this view, our universe is just one of countless others, each with its own rules and properties. Some might be hospitable to life, others barren and chaotic. If the multiverse exists, then the end of our universe might not matter in the grand scheme of things. It would be a local event, insignificant compared to the vast array of other universes continuing to exist. But this idea doesn't offer much comfort. After all, we live in this universe, and its end would still mean the end of everything we know and love. And what of the human experience in all of this? The inevitability of cosmic destruction forces us to confront our own impermanence. Everything we build, every story we tell, every achievement we celebrate, all of it is destined to vanish, swallowed by the relentless march of entropy or the sudden violence of a cosmic catastrophe. Yet, there's a strange beauty in this fragility. Knowing that everything is temporary makes each moment precious, each act of creation an act of defiance against the void. The end of the universe also challenges us to think about the nature of meaning itself. If everything eventually returns to nothing, does that render existence meaningless? Or does it mean that meaning must be found in the here and now, in the fleeting beauty of the present? Perhaps the story of the universe isn't about permanence, but about the miraculous, fleeting spark of existence, a moment of light in the vast darkness of eternity. But the most haunting thought of all is this. What if nothingness is not merely the absence of existence but an active force, waiting to reclaim the universe? If the cosmos was born from nothing, then perhaps nothingness is not just the backdrop to existence but its silent, inevitable counterpart. It's a presence we cannot see or measure, but one that looms over everything, ready to undo the delicate tapestry of reality. In the end, the fate of the universe is a question that transcends human understanding. It is a reminder of our place within a cosmos that is both infinitely vast and deeply mysterious. As we gaze into the night sky, we are not just looking at distant stars. We are staring into the depths of a story that began in the most unlikely of circumstances and may one day return to the void from which it came.